Good evening ladies and gentlemen. First, today is major headline. Bug Brown, the well-known teacher, linguist and YouTube vlogger, was recently charged with two misdemeanors by a local restaurant in Duma City, Philippines. Let's go to our local reporter there. Indai, what's the latest there in Duma? Love, it seems there's quite a crowd gathering to witness this hearing. But Brown certainly has a lot of fans. Let's go inside the courtroom, shall we? All oh, rise! All persons having business before this honorable court, pay heed, draw nigh, give attention, you shall be heard. Silence in my courtroom! This ought to be good. Your Honor, I am the prosecuting attorney for the restaurant. Although Mr. Brown has a sterling reputation here in Dumaguete, generous, to a fault, quite attractive and has the most undeniable integrity. In this case, he has been charged with two misdemeanors. 1. Turning on a switch that was clearly labeled, do not touch, and 2. Wasting water in a urinal. I am looking forward to hearing his defense. Silence in my courtroom! Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, distinguished guests, and all of my loyal YouTube channel fans, thank you so much for coming to this hearing. Your Honor, I would just like to start off by saying you look uh, very good this morning. Have you been working out? <laughs> Silence in my courtroom. First, I want to address these malicious accusations made of me. Number one, I was accused of touching a light switch that had a sign on it, do not touch. That's true, Your Honor. But I will explain the mitigating circumstances. Number two, I've been accused of wasting water in a public urinal. I will also explain that. And when I am finished with my explanation, there will be no doubt that this man is as honest as the day is long normally 12 hours here in uh, the Philippines of daylight, say uh, daylight and 12 hours of night. Concerning allegation number one, this morning I went to have coffee at said restaurant. When I finished my coffee and my studies, before I paid my bill, I went to use what they call here the CR, which is what we call the restroom. When I opened the door, Your Honor, it was pitch black inside. Now who in the world would have a public institution with a pitch black CR? So. I reached my hand in to turn on the light switch, which I knew had to be close. I found it. I turned it on. There were three switches. I turned on all three switches. When I walked in, I realized the error of my ways. The middle switch had in very small letters, do not touch, as we see in exhibit one. Beta. So, obviously, it was not my intention to touch the switch that said do not touch. So, on that accusation, I rest my case. <laughs> on that accusation of number two, Your Honor, when I fi finished using the restroom, I noticed the urinal, which I didn't use, had a, 
yellow, oh, I don't like to explain it because it's so disgusting. So being a good citizen, I pushed the flush on the urinal. It didn't go away. I took the bidet from the toilet area and I began to wash the urinal in hopes that that yellow stain or liquid would go away. I only washed it, Your Honor, for probably, oh, at the most one hour. And then I finally gave up. Upon closer examination, I saw that there was a yellow netting at the bottom of the urinal. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, distinguished guests, who in their right mind would place a yellow filter netting at the bottom of a urinal for obvious reasons? They could have used blue, green, white, but no, they chose to use yellow. And I believe it's to set people up like myself so they would make a lot of money in court like we have here today. Bailiff, will you show uh, evidence number two? As you can see, everyone, this uh, yellow filter or plastic netting is very deceptive. Especially when a man gets up in age, his eyesight is not so good, although his intelligence has increased tremendously. His appearance has in uh, increased uh, uh, tremendously, but the eyesight does seem to go a little bit uh, become a little bit blurry. So it may be aimed at older men as myself. But regardless, as you can all see, I have absolutely no guilt in this matter. <laughs> Are you serious? And that concludes my defense. I hope you have a great day. And by the way, I brought uh, something as just a little gift for everyone. It's called buco pie. I stayed up all night last night. That's why I'm a little bit tired looking this morning because uh, this buco pie is very expensive. It's made out of uh, coconut juice and coconut itself. But I thought that maybe you all will enjoy it as a uh, morning snack. So with that, enjoy your buco pie, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. No, I, I don't mean next time in the court. I mean next time on my YouTube channel. Goodbye. <laughs>